first. We'll start out with like, who are you? Um, so, yep, we're rolling. Who are you? Okay, my name is Janet Brown, and I'm president and CEO of Grant Makers in the Arts. And which part of the country do you call home? Um, that's an interesting question of almost everyone, isn't it? Uh, I live in Seattle right now. That's, that's where Grant Makers in the Arts is headquartered. Um, I was raised and lived most of my life in South Dakota. Why are you here at this meeting? I'm here to learn and also because there is a convergence um, between artists and funders about how artists can be more effective in, in making a difference in communities. So I think the question of relevance, relevance of science, relevance of art is, um, is an ever-growing question for both sectors. And we are, as grant makers in the arts, kind of right in the middle of trying to figure out what really are trends of our members. Our members are private and public donors and um, institutional donors, foundations and agencies. Um, but trying to figure out what their trends is, uh, what their trends are, and then where we can and where we should be educating them in terms of trends that need to be looked at. So we're an association, which means we lead and we follow our members. We follow our members, but at some point they look to us and say, you know, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's these other things happening. Who can I network with? Who do I need to talk to about? And I think these kinds of gatherings of um, other sector um, specialists and experts are absolutely what we need to do as an association. So the environment and the, and, uh, and the ecology and climate change has been a growing and growing issue with a lot of our members. And so this, this um, an invitation to this convening came at the perfect time. Um, and I know it's early in the workshop, but what's your gut reaction so far? that there is just so much connectivity here, right? That there are artists who have been doing this for a long time. There are scientists who understand how to work with artists. There are scientists who want to work with artists. That there is a, that there is a, a greater good that comes from the creativity that is shared by both artists and scientists. Uh, and that, um, that that network needs to be solidified, right? So what we are is maybe more disparate now, disparate now than what we need, what we can be. And I think that more communication and more bringing together of networks is um, like, and meetings like this one is absolutely how we do that. And then the last question is, um, do you see light at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I always see light at the end of the tunnel. I, I always believe the, you know, the cup is half full. Um, because I, I think that there is more and more desire, particularly um, from my world, the world of philanthropy, um, to be more relevant, to affect more change. I think we've looked at the systems of the last 40, 60 years and said, you know, they were good for a time that's not today. And we are now in a world of transition, of great transition. And um, from everything of, um, between poverty and income disparity um, to, um, to climate change and, and, and the weather, which is affecting lots of us every day. So um, I think that there's more will and there's public will uh, to, to be more relevant, both on the scientific level and also on the arts and humanities level of how we communicate and how we bring really the population in general into these discussions in an informed and impassioned way. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. That was awesome. Thank you.